Okay, so today I'd like to demonstrate something known as the triple phaser paradox. It involves polarized lenses just like the ones you would see in your sunglasses. What I have here for you are two lenses. They're oriented with respect to each other about 45 degrees. And you can see that right now most of the light is getting through them. And the triple phaser paradox involves a third lens. So what I'm going to do is put a third one here and overlay it on the other three. I've overlaid on the other two. I've overlaid it in such a way that there's still some light going through. What's interesting is if I rotate and change the orientation of the third lens, you can see something quite interesting. So from left to right, the amount of light going through the lenses steadily decreases. So even though the right two lenses are oriented anti-parallel and there's almost no light getting through, the presence of the third lens is somehow allowing a little bit of light to come through in the center. And I'm not sure how well it's showing up, but the left lens, from my vantage point, is clearly allowing more light to pass than the overlay of the three lenses. So, the explanation for this actually has its roots in quantum mechanics. And the way it works is with, let me just show you, with two lenses. With one lens, the light coming through is asked to make a choice between going up and down or left and right. And so anything that's going up and down, so to speak, is allowed to pass. So that same effect will work when you're dealing with two lenses. If you put two on top of each other and they're oriented in the same way, the light is still allowed to pass in the up and down direction. But if you orient the top lens so that it's anti-parallel to the back lens, well, the light that's been chosen to go in this direction by the back lens now has a choice of going left or right by the front lens. But since it's already been chosen to go uh, up and down, it can't pass and is blocked. So the third and the biggest indicator of the quantum mechanical effect happens when you choose or you force the photons coming through the back lens to choose a direction that is not parallel or perpendicular to the direction they've been selected. So if I put the third lens in, and hopefully you can hopefully you can see that still. What's happening is the third lens is oriented at some diagonal angle. And so when the photons are asked to pass through the first lens, they're going up and down, but the orientation in the diagonal direction tells the photons, well, your vector can be represented in this new coordinate system, the diagonal one, as some fraction that's up and some fraction that's down. And when you do that, the photons then more or less have a choice that can be selected to be either up or down. And so up or down in the diagonal coordinate system. So for GU is diagonal this way or diagonal that way. And so when you do that, some fraction of the photons are allowed to pass and say they're going in this direction. Well then they get to the third lens and they're basically seeing the same effect but just rotated. So this lens, as I told you, is maybe polarized this way. And so as the photons polarized in the diagonal direction see the new coordinate system, they again have a choice of being partially in this direction or partially in this direction. So when they make that choice, some of them are allowed to come through. And that's why you can see uh, light through this middle region, but not through the left two regions.